Okay, it's another episode of Rails Minute. Hi, everyone. I'm Dan Bostrom, Rails Member Engagement Manager, and I'm here with Deirdre Brennan, Rails Executive Director. Uh, this is our effort to bring you short weekly videos where you can find out more about what is happening with Rails during shelter in place. Uh, Deirdre, thanks for joining me. Um, I'm sure you've heard a lot of stories about libraries working from home, uh, both good and bad. In your mind, what is one positive thing or what's a positive thing you've heard so far from, uh, from libraries? I think the overwhelmingly positive thing that I've heard is just how much people want us and need us. They, they want us to come back, they want service, they want curbside, they want materials, they want virtual services. Um, the, I think, you know, the creativity of our librarians in responding to these needs has just been incredible. Um, I think it really speaks to how important libraries are in, you know, to, uh, to their communities. Uh, I'm really um, uh, pleased about the uh, bigger than a building um, advocacy work that um, ILA and Rails and the Heartland Library System did together. Uh, I think it's it has you know fantastic resources uh, related, you know, especially obviously to advocacy about uh, you know uh, things that uh, library staff want boards to know and want the communities to know about uh, libraries coming back and what and you know how libraries are going to be. Uh, needing their support in terms of budgets in particular, but I think just the whole even though our buildings are closed. We are open um, And people, you know, libraries have really grabbed onto that and the public certainly has too. So that's something we should all be happy about and proud of Yeah, and, and staying on that same sort of theme uh, this week uh, Rails is co-hosting a webinar with ILA and IHLS on what trustees need to know about uh, libraries during COVID-19. Um, what topics do you expect uh, will be covered during that event? Yes, we have, as last I heard, almost 700 people signed up, so clearly quite a need for that, yes. Um, so uh, yes, this was prompted actually by a, a call from a, a local trustee who said that she uh, she really believed that you know trustees want to know more so they can make better decisions, and so uh, we've got a number of topics uh, that we're going to cover. Uh, one is of course uh, uh, about budgeting, which is of course one of the you know main things that boards are responsible for. We will have Jamie Racklin. Uh, who is the president of Mayor STEM Advisors. He's done a lot of work with libraries, helping to just lay out how to project what budgets might look like in this, you know, in the pandemic and, you know, moving forward. Also, some uh, uh, folks from HR Source are going to talk about employment issues, the, you know, some of the, the federal laws that have been passed and just how to deal with uh, reopening libraries and you know thinking about uh, uh, people's individual situations you know the good of library workers as well as the good of the library every you know not everybody is in the same situation uh, schools are not open daycare is not open um, it's you know very important that we bear in mind that you know the nature of our workforce that you know a lot of a lot of women a lot of working parents um, they're not going to have, they don't have that infrastructure, you know, safety net that was there. And I think that um, some um, assistance from HR source will be helpful in that matter as well. Um, we're going to talk about the bigger than a building, of course. Um, and we're going to have a Q&A session. We've already had, we asked for a lot of questions. Uh, we asked for questions in advance and we've received tons and they're really thoughtful. So um, I have a feeling we won't have enough time to cover everything. We'll do our best. Great. Uh, so much going on. Tell, tell us what else is happening around Rails. What, what else would you like people to know about what's happening with the system? Well, we're about to put out a delivery survey tomorrow. We're asking all of our members when they think they might want delivery back and when um, and you know how often how much etc just sort of their general plans because we are trying to uh, put a plan together uh, first phase of which would be returning items that are in our hubs or in other libraries back to where they live uh, so to speak 
Um, so that's coming out tomorrow. Of course, we still have a lot of continuing education going on. Um, there's a, I, there was a PPE uh, webinar last week that was very well attended. That's going to be the, rec uh, I think the recording is going to be, or it's going to be shown again this week, it will be available. Um, I continue to attend the meetings of the steering committee for the reopening archives, librarians and libraries and museums project. Um, so, the, you know, we're hearing that, uh, you know, the testing is starting tomorrow and officially, and there is a website now, which um, if you go to Web Junction and uh, type in um, R-E-A-L-M, Realm, you'll find it. Um, and I think that that is, uh, is going to be the go-to place for libraries to find out what the latest is on the on the, you know, the scientific uh, research that's been, being done into the safe handling materials, as well as furniture and all that. Yeah, the, the work continues, so much happening. Mm -hmm. um, right. This is the point, so this is the point where we turn it over to the members, uh, and, yes. and we've had uh, some great member questions come in. If you have a question, you can either uh, leave a comment in, in, uh, in, either on YouTube or on Facebook, or you can uh, email them to communications at railslibraries.info. So um, our first member question is from Anita, and Anita asks, a lot of libraries are developing plans to reopen. What considerations should go into non-contact library workers? Should they be allowed to go back prior to employees involved in curbside and patron-facing services? Yes, it's a very good question. Thank you, Anita. Um, as, as we have been saying um, for a while now, the decisions uh, to reopen libraries is very much a local one. Uh, the governor's uh, order made it clear that libraries are governmental entities, not uh, businesses, and so it is up to the boards of, of the of libraries to or governing authorities um, in the case of non-public libraries, I presume, um, to make that decision. And so it would also obviously be very much a local decision about what employees can uh, you know can come back when, what essential, what services are essential, what can be done remotely, what cannot be done remotely. I think any reopening is going to have to be accompanied by appropriate social distancing, uh, distancing and uh, you know personal protective equipment. So I don't know really that it's that easy to differentiate between non-contact workers and contact workers. Um, I suppose if you're not um, you know, in contact with the public, that is different, but you are still in contact with materials and you know, other, um, other staff in the building. Um, so I, I don't think that there's um, anything that different in terms of the you know, kind of equipment or, or testing that you, um, you, know, you might want to um, have in place. But again, it is very much a local decision. Great. All right. Well, that will do it for this week for Rails Minute. Deidre, thank you for joining me, and we'll see you all next week. Thank you.